Hey everyone, this is Turks. Yes, I cracked the transfer case of my Porsche Macan. I cracked the drain hole. I'll explain everything in this video. And I'll also explain how I repair it and develop an effective repair procedure that I think is very solid. So stay tuned. So this is a, the transfer case plug, uh, it is uh, tapered while the drain hole of the transfer case is not. As you are introducing this uh, taper plug into the drain hole, you are exerting stresses in the drain hole that if you are not careful it will ex exceed the, the fracture point of the material which is what happened to me. So this is the new plug. Uh, this is the, the part number. But I'm not using this new plug as you will see. So what I did is I purchased this plug uh, in Amazon, I'll put the description on the video. It's a D fill M16.1 times 1.5 uh, millimeters. The thread is 1.5 millimeters and uh, the diameter is 16.1 millimeters, and then the length is 50 millimeters. Uh, it is precisely to repair uh, these type of issues uh, with band threads. Uh, it is a self-tapping plug. And uh, the good thing about this plug is that it's, it's, a little, it's slightly larger than the, than the drain hole, just, just slightly. It's, it's also self-tapping, so it will allow the the plug to self tap into the aluminum on the transfer case and uh, because it's not tapered like this plug it will not add any significant stresses to the walls of the hull um, so uh, it will control the propagation of the crack once we treat the crack right so Open this so you can see it. So this is a multi-part plug. It has a, the main plug here, as you can see. It, it has these uh, notches here, so the self-thread um, into into the hole. It has this uh, O-ring. This O-ring is good up to 400 degrees C, so no concerns there. And then it has the inner plug, which uh, is the one that we will be using from now on to uh, uh, unplug, right? So we will not once we put this external plug in, this stays in place and we'll just take the oil out of this hole here. As you can see. Alright. So 
this has its own o-ring but I did put the crush the crush uh, washer here just so that I could put a little bit more torque on it all right so that's it uh, I didn't record my repair but I'll go ahead and explain what I did down there and uh, what is important is that uh, because it's a longitudinal, longitudinal crack on the on the on the plug, uh, what I did is uh, I used high temperature thread sealant. This one, and I. Uh, I use that thread sealant, being careful of not putting any sealant in the O-ring. So I put the sealant on the side. And then I did some marks here that with the with the a Sharpie uh, externally here that I did a mark that matched match the longer part of the thread in all of this uh, elongated areas right of the soft tapping because I wanted to make sure and have a visual indicator indication as I was uh, let me do a mark here real quick so like this like this right Because so, uh, I wanted to make sure that I, as I was putting uh, or or threading this plug into the into the hole, that I had a visual indicator indication of where these longer parts landed, because I wanted to make sure that one of these longer parts landed on the crack itself. So that's what I did, and. Uh, so far I've driven 200 miles with the repair plug and uh, it's been working very well. Uh, no leaks, no crack propagation. So we'll see that now. I'm going to replace the oil again just to make sure, although I did flush initially, I uh, clean the best way as possible because this is because this is a self-tapping uh, plug. I'm gonna flush it again just to make sure that there's no residues of material, aluminum material inside the transfer case. So that's what I will be doing today, and I'll explain more on what I did down there. Here you have the, the crush washers, two of them, and an additional o-ring. For, for transfer case fluid, I, I uh, the first time I replaced the transfer case fluid, I used the Porsche transfer case fluid. But then the second time, I um, heard some reviews about uh, using multi-wool, multi-DCTF, which is the same fluid that we use in the, uh, uh, that we can use in the, our tra uh, PDK transmission, and uh, it has the same viscosity as the Porsche uh, fluid for transfer case is 75W, SAE, 75W, and uh, I heard very good reviews, right? So I've been using this multi DCTF uh, fluid in my transfer case for the past 20,000 miles and it's been working fantastically well. So it's a choice, right? So um, I'm not encouraging anyone to change uh, to Motul, but this is what I'm using. Um, so. Uh, 
again if you want to use this one use it at your at your own risk I'm using it at my own risk right so uh, but so far so good and one one more thing I have to say about about this change from a Porsche fluid to the mo tool uh, I used to have some hesitation at high speed when I accelerated uh, and then since using mo tool that hesitation is gone so uh, another another reason why I'm I'm using this fluid right, the first thing is removing the undercarriage cover My crack occurred here in this area here where you see the JV weld. I used JV weld to plug the crack along with the with the plug here. As you can see it's been steady, no leaks, 500, uh, 200 miles driven, everything looking good actually very good so yeah I'm going to now proceed to change the oil so I'm gonna take this plug out and then the the fill plug out as well as the bent you have to um, I think that about 350 uh, milliliters will come out of this. Then you have to soak in about 100 and 150 milliliters from the fill plug. Then uh, to fill it, you fill about 100 and 150 milliliters through the fill plug. And then the brass, 350, you fill through, through the vent. So that's how this is uh, filled. Because you don't have a, uh, this is not an overfill system to determine the level. You have to have a mirrored uh, fluid uh, device like a syringe, a graduated syringe. So you know that you're putting in exactly 500 milliliters of oil here. Okay? So, um, a member of the McCann Forum, uh, he did a transfer case oil change, and while inserting the plug, which as I said is tapered, uh, he inserted the plug too much and uh, cracked the drain, the drain hole in this transfer case, so I decided to check mine because I've changed my oil about three times already and uh, after verifying mine very closely I found the exact same crack on mine the other thing is that I never went as deep as the as the other uh, member of the McCann forum with the plug and always stopped that 20 newton meters uh, so as I said I've done three changes already but I did notice that every time the plug would go in a bit deeper at 20 newton meters um, I've driven or I drove the, the transfer case with this crack I think that for 15,000 miles and uh, when I changed the oil uh, I did recover the full thing, 500 milliliters, so it wasn't leaking, but the crack was there. So uh, I think that 
if I were to do this change another time, then I would have seen the leak. So I do have some theory on what could have happened. Um, the transfer case is a form of aluminum alloy. Uh, not sure what grade of aluminum alloy, but so if you follow mechanical material principles, you know that aluminum alloy doesn't have a big elastic deformation region. It's very small actually, which means that the material we enter the plastic deformation region, which is the point of no, no return to original form of the stress strain curve at the lower stresses than say steel, which is the material of the plug. So therefore, aluminum will get deformed at lower stresses, which, which is common sense. I mean, you know that uh, from common sense. Uh, you can see in the deformation plots that I'm uh, putting the screen that uh, the stress strain curve for mild steel versus aluminum alloy the steel can go up to 320 megapascal of stress and go back to the original form when stress is removed versus aluminum and aluminum alloy where you will see unrecoverable deformation anywhere from 40 megapascal to 200 megapascals in the, in the case I'm showing in the screen and a much lower fractured strain percentage than steel in the case of aluminum alloy so I, I would think that the manufacturer spec of 20 newton meters plus or minus 4 newton meters was calculated based on the elastic deformation region of the material. However, that's difficult to say if they design it. They design this transfer case based on those low change frequency of oil. It is very plausible that applying 20 newton meters plus or minus 4 newton meters. In this configuration, we'll send aluminum alloy material to the plastic deformation zone. Because this is a tapered steel plug against a female aluminum drain threaded hole, torque applied is perfunctory, which means that trying to get to specify torque is either not quite perceptible or difficult to achieve and will ine inevitably make the drain hole weaker as it exceeds the elastic characteristic of the material and travels to, to and through the plastic deformation zone so until it fractures. Uh, so, so probably the best approach here is inserting the, this plug by hand and, and then uh, give it one, two or even three turns of the range, uh, three turns, two to three turns. Um, so that the material stays in the elastic region. In addition, this plug has a thread, seal and glue that should hold it in place. But it was too late for me as I follow the torque specs every time. Even when I noticed that every oil change the plug would go in just a little bit more. My drain hole was in the plastic formation zone and went to the material fracture point during the last oil change. Most like it happened with the other Macan Forum member. So I did a lot of research and which I ended up using for myself. Um, the end result I think is a more robust uh, solution, a very robust solution, probably even more robust than, than the, this OEM plug. I was able to confirm a very good fit when I was trying this. Uh, th this plug will go about halfway in by hand and then you'll have to uh, continue with the range. And uh, as you are inserting this with the range, then you have to go in a little bit and go back, then go in, go back, set that until, until it goes all the way in. Um, to make sure that you're making good use of a self-stop feature. So you start by removing the oil from the transfer case. You dry and prepare the threads. I use a poor uh, surface prep and degreaser. Uh, you clean and prepare the external surface I, where I use the JV weld. 
Uh, as I said, the plug itself is self-tapped, so when it makes it ideal to go through the uh, rest of the threads that are virgin. So this plug you don't you don't use this plug completely. Uh, you go probably in halfway a little bit more. So there's a lot of uh, virgin threads that you need to uh, tap with this plug. As I said it before, I painted the lines here so that when I was uh, inserting this plug, one of the lines coincide with the with the, with the crack, the longitudinal crack. So that's what I did, ensuring that one of the longer uh, areas of the thread was on on that on top of that crack. As I said before, I applied high, uh, Permatex high temperature thread sealant over the plugs and threads, over the plug threads so that it sealed the crack from the inside. I was being careful not to apply the sealant over the O-ring. Then I proceeded to install. Um, the, tor the recommended torque for this is about 15 uh, Newton meters, although I continue to go in until I uh, had a very good press fit here because I knew I was not going to remove this external plug anymore. I removed this smaller plug, cleaned the inside when I needed grease, I did a, a, a flush with additional oil, making sure that any metal shavings would come out. Uh, which is um, what I'm going to do today again. I'm going to um, do an additional flush just to make sure. So you, you wait on you wait about two three hours for the sealant to be cured, and then you proceed to install the small plug with the cross washer. Torque about 25 to 30 newton meters, uh, and you need to hold the external plug in place with the wrench while you're tightening up the, uh, the smaller plug and uh, in the future now anytime you're removing this small plug or installing it you need to uh, you need to hold this external plug with the wrench and then apply JB Weld to the crack externally and apply it also to the flat surface to touch the plug so that it's kind of a secondary uh, lock to the plug. And then waited a few hours and, and uh, filled the transfer case with 500 milliliters. As I stated before, I used Motu the CTF fluid. And I think that this has been a solid repair, a solid modi modification to the transfer case. Um, and uh, I don't think I'm gonna have any issues now. So as I said, after 500, after 200 miles driven, this looks very solid. All right. So now I'm going to uh, change the oil again, and I'll record the whole process so you can see it.
you can see it's 500 milliliters here so we recover everything All right so I'm going to insert a couple of flushes and then do the final one Right, so this is the first flush. It came out. It's very clean actually. So some dark residue but came out well. I'm going to do one more flush and then do the final one. Do the final fill. This time I'm going to flush with 500 milliliters. Let's see, we should record 500 milliliters on this one.
tighten this up without final tightening. So this is about 20 newton meters. Uh, so you can actually uh, 20 newton meters is more than enough. So that will do the job. I'm going to feel about 150 milliliters through the field plug, and then 350 through the Bent and then replace the band and then done. Alright, 150 milliliters through here. It should be 350 here. Replace the plug now. All right, I'm going to install a new plug. I think for the refill plug, I could install it in the old plug that I removed, but I'm going to go save. This is the paper plug. I think I could use also a non taper plug here and go all the way. Probably I'll do that next time. So that I avoid any crack as well. So I'm putting it by hand and then I'm going to do three rotations. I'm not going to go with the 20 neurometers. Alright, so that's all it could go by hand I'm still going to use the torque range just to measure how much torque I'm applying but uh, I'm just going to that's one not even recording any torque, right? So I think that because it's not recording any torque going to 20 newton meters is not a good idea. I mean I went to almost 20 newton meters here and it was hard. Uh, this one here didn't even record a, a, a torque and uh, it's like halfway in, so I'm going to leave it like that. It should work okay. And uh, it should not apply any uh, significant stresses to the hole here. Alright. So let's fill the next. The remaining 350 milliliters will remain through the vent.
Okay. Now replacing the, uh, the bed and cover. See, it is much better. Once finished, the plug. The other plug. I'm actually very pleased with the with the results. I made. What I thought was a lost transfer case, I was able to repair it with a more, I think, robust solution. So, here you go. All right, so the transfer case requires 500 milliliters uh, to be filled. So I purchased this in Amazon. Um, you can use up to 500 milliliters here. So the 500 millimeter pump, and uh, so the first time I, I did the the replacement, I used this uh, syringe, this huge syringe, 500 millimeters, uh, and uh, it, it was very very hard to. Uh, uh, plunge the oil into the transfer case extremely hard uh, so I didn't want to use this again so I used it once then I uh, I said well maybe uh, if I buy a smaller syringe 100 milliliters then it's easier so it was slightly easier doing it this way but the problem is that then I have to fill this thing five times and uh and repeat the process five times so but this is easier than this and then i uh, i decided to try a different approach and bought this uh, from amazon uh, this pump fill pump and uh it was night and day right so here it is uh, I, I was I used the two uh, the two tubings with the connector here and the extension, and uh, to uh, extract the oil from the bottle, I I used the larger one. I disconnected this, and then um, put the smaller one inserted the smaller one to insert into the band of the transfer case. And uh, I was able to do it very quickly, very smoothly, n minimal effort whatsoever. Um, I already had this one. I use this one for extraction only, so um, so that I don't cross contaminate the oil. So I uh, I uh, extract the used oil with this one. It's a 200 milliliter. Uh, extraction pump and uh, it's perfect because you only have to uh, extract um, the fluid remaining through the fill hole or and uh, that is usually about a hundred to 150 milliliters that you take from out from there is what doesn't come out from the drain plug and then I fill this with all the 500 milliliters and then I ins insert uh, initially the larger tubing to the fill hole I um, add 150 milliliters then connect the smaller one and then add the remaining 350 milliliters through the band 
So if you want to make it easier for you um, to uh, put the oil in to fill the transfer case, this is a good alternative. I'm going to put the link on the description.